Mm, very nice. I didn't do the lamb how you do it though, so sorry. <laughs> I made it different. You can taste later on when I serve it at the table. Perfectly cooked juicy lamb steaks, a very traditional Thai dipping sauce. This particular version is sort of based on that very famous Thai grilled meat dish called Crying Tiger. But I'll fill you in on why my family version is different later on. Let's do it my friends, let's make Crying Tiger lamb. I'm gonna let you in on a secret here. This marinade that we're about to make will make all of your grilling dreams come true, but inside and easier. This marinade starts off with beautiful lamb steaks. Look at these guys. Okay, I love this cut because it is beautifully lean, but still really juicy and tender. And I'm gonna show you how you can cook this cut of meat perfectly indoors by using this marinade. So we start off with oyster sauce. A little bit of fish sauce here as well. Both of these ingredients are going to give us a salty umami flavor, but also the sugar content is going to help us get a really lovely caramelization really quickly in the pan before your smoke alarms go off. That's kind of what we want here. These lamb steaks don't need very long because the marinade is very intense. In fact, this entire meal can be done in less than 30 minutes, which is great. So I'm just gonna put this aside while I make my spicy sauce. The spicy sauce, also known as Nam Dim Jiao, is made by lightly toasting some sticky rice in a pan. So this is raw, glutinous rice, also known as sticky rice. You just wanna toast it away on a medium heat until you get this really lovely golden dark color. It'll start to smell like popcorn too, that's when you know it's ready. Now put that into your mortar and use your pestle to grind it to a fine powder. The rest of the sauce is simply tamarind. Now I'm using tamarind puree here. Sometimes it's called tamarind concentrate, tamarind paste. Any of those things is fine here. You just need a tablespoon along with some fish sauce, some sugar, some Thai chili powder. Now this is kind of important here because you want the right texture and you don't want it to be too spicy. So Thai chili powder just has a little bit of the seeds. You can see little chunks of dried chili plus some powder here as well. Add some lime juice. For the shallots, I want a really nice fine wedge here and then throw those into the sauce as well. And some finely chopped coriander and then finally your toasted rice powder. Now this is a traditional Nam Jim Jiao. It shouldn't be overly spicy, but if you're worried about spice, you could also serve this with some sweet chili sauce, which I often do for my kids. So there we go, friends. This is my mum's very special and famous, well, famous in my world anyway, crying tiger sauce. And actually I should get, I'll get my mum over here so she can try it, make sure I did a good job. Mm, very nice. So I love mum how you, well, you used to tell me that you made this sauce yes, with, with dad's time. lamb dishes when you first met him because yeah. lamb was something new for you. In Thailand, I don't know about lamb, but I have to cook for Charlie. I make the sauce, nam chim gel, to go with the lamb. Make the lamb taste very good. And Charlie like it. Lamb is my favorite now because Charlie wants me to make his cookie lamb. Oh, that's good, Mum. I love that story. Yes. That's why I wanted to make this sauce today. All right, see ya. See ya. So now we're gonna cook the lamb. And I think for a lot of people, cooking nice thick pieces of meat like this can be a little daunting, but that's okay, I got you. So let's start off with a really hot pan, add a little bit of oil, and then just use a paper towel to kind of brush it over the surface of the pan. That'll give us a nice even coating of oil. Now you can add your lamb steaks, and because we have that really awesome marinade that's gonna help us with the caramelization, this kind of beautiful charry kind of color is gonna happen in literally two minutes. So two minutes later, to flip those steaks over and oh my goodness look at that ah oh, so good already again you don't want to overdo it here so just another two minutes so four minutes in total in the pan and then we want to finish off the cooking really gently in the oven so I'm gonna pop the whole pan into the oven for four or five minutes now this is for lamb steaks that are about three centimeters thick if your lamb steaks are thinner then you could just do a little bit less oven time well-rested meat is lovely and juicy all the way through and evenly cooked. I've had mine resting on the plate here for about five minutes and now we're ready to slice. Moment of truth. I love this part. Okay, let's take our piece of lamb. Oh, I mean, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. I love that. So perfectly cooked really beautifully rested meat, which means it's all kind of like juicy from top to bottom. Oh, that is so good. 
Now the thing that I love about this dish is serving it family style. I love having everyone there, passing everything around. Uh, so I'm gonna pop my steaks over to the side here and then fill my board with a whole bunch of fresh things. So snow pea shoots. I mean, this is all optional. You could do cucumbers, you could do other fresh herbs, anything you like. Got some lovely lettuce here, got some green beans, some mint. And there you go, my friends. I mean, I just, this kind of lamb spread just makes me so happy and I love sharing it. So I'm gonna get this to the table. Goodbye. <laughs> Au revoir, adieu. Thank you, Dad, it's your favorite lamb.